Hello awesome people, in this video we are going to be talking about Venus, the second planet from the Sun. Venus and Earth are often called twins because they are similar in size, mass, density, composition and gravity. But their similarity ends there. You might ask yourself how could Venus be hotter than its neighbor Mercury that orbits the Sun closer than any other planet? Well, that's because Venus has a very dense atmosphere that traps heat in a runaway version of the greenhouse effect that warms Earth. So, because of this, temperatures on Venus reach 870 degrees Fahrenheit. But despite all this hellish atmosphere composed mainly of carbon dioxide with clouds of sulfuric acid, astronomers have actually sent probes there but they actually survived only a few hours before being destroyed. In 1970, the Soviet Union sent Venera 7 probe that started to send back 23 minutes of data from the surface of Venus. The images you are just seeing have been taken by this probe. It is the first spacecraft to successfully land on another planet. Venus's rotation is kinda weird, because it spins slowly in the opposite direction most planets do. Only Venus and Uranus have this backwards rotation. Because of this weird rotation, the Sun doesn't rise and set each day on Venus like it does on most other planets. Instead, one day-night cycle takes 117 Earth days. The hottest planet orbits the Sun in 225 Earth days, and its orbit is nearly a perfect circle. If you were actually standing on Venus, everything would look orange because of the thick atmosphere that filters the sunlight. Venus has also mountains, valleys and tens of thousands of volcanoes. It is thought that the planet was completely resurfaced by volcanic activity 3 to 500 million years ago. Life seems impossible on Venus, but there is a speculation about life existing in Venus's distant past, as well as questions about the possibility of life in the top cloud layers of Venus's atmosphere, where the temperatures are less extreme. So, that's all about Venus. The next week, we are gonna be talking about the next planet. As you know, the next one is Earth, but uh, because I feel like we have enough information about our planet, we are going to move to the red planet, Mars.